Hi, and welcome to Always Dolls. Today, we are back to share part two of our crafting tutorial for American Girl's new purple kitchen. In this video, we make the modern fridge and oven. It can exist as a standalone unit or be matched up with the island bench and sink for the ultimate cooking experience. We have divided this craft into three stages and included the cut lists we use for each step. We love everything about AG's new kitchen, but remember, you can always customize the color palette and fixtures to suit the aesthetic of your dollhouse and build that perfect kitchen of your dreams. This is a longer video, so let's get making. We used both thick and thin foam board. If you don't have this, cardboard works just as well. However, you may need to cut doubles or triples of each piece for the required strength and thickness. Cut the back wall for the kitchen unit. Draw a vertical line 16 centimeters from the right side. This section is for the fridge. Cut the following pieces. Base, freezer door, fridge door, two side walls, top of the fridge, and dividing wall that looks like a wide T shape. You may like to pause or screenshot the cut list dimensions shown. As we want to spray paint the fridge silver, we need to protect the exposed foam edges of our pieces. To do this, cut thin strips of poster board and glue them on. We also masked one side of each piece with computer paper to keep one side the original bright white. We used recycled plastic packaging for the clear fridge shelves. The thicker the better. Cut two rectangles. Next, mark and partially cut horizontal lines into both side walls. They are at 8 centimeters and 20 centimeters from the top. Carefully slide your plastic rectangles into the grooves created in the foam board. Repeat for the other side and our shelves are connected. Now we can glue the side walls to the back wall of the kitchen unit. Follow with the base piece. Since we are using liquid glue, it helps to use low tack tape to hold the pieces in place while drying. Position the dividing wall 12 centimeters from the bottom and glue into place. Let's work on the fridge door. In the center of this panel, draw a five by three centimeter rectangle and cut out. This will be for the ice dispenser. Take the cutout and trace it onto paperboard to make a small box, two centimeters deep with tabs. Glue the tabs to the inside of the fridge door, closing up the rectangular hole. With more paperboard, make a plate to sit on front. Spray paint silver. We are ready to attach the fridge door. Place a cardboard shim under the door to lift it slightly off the side walls. This will help the door swing better. Next, push a toothpick through the underside of the dividing wall and into the bottom of the fridge. To attach the top of the fridge door, we must first glue on the top piece. Once in place, push a toothpick through the left corner of the top piece and into the top of the fridge door. Remove your shim and the door will open and close. Next. Take more plastic packaging and make a tray 13 centimeters long by 2.5 centimeters deep. We used double-sided tape to attach the tray just below the ice dispenser. Check the door shelf sits higher than the internal fridge shelf or your door won't close. To assemble the freezer drawer, glue the floor piece to the freezer wall, leaving a gap one centimeter from the bottom. This way it can slide in and out over the base piece. Glue on the left and right walls, then adhere the back wall between the side walls. Step one complete. Moving on to the oven and stove. Cut the following pieces. Oven floor, lower drawer, oven door, two side walls, dial plate, stove top, backsplash, and internal wall. Again, you may like to pause or screenshot the cut list dimensions shown. 
Take the oven door piece and draw a rectangle inside it. Using an X-Acto blade or Stanley knife, carefully cut out this window. Now, all the oven pieces are ready for colour. To match with the AG palette, we used Rust-Oleum Satin Lagoon spray paint. Make a tray for the lower drawer from paperboard. Mark the sides and centre of the foam board. Next, make tick marks at 11 centimetres. This is how long the drawer will be, and again at three centimetres for the drawer's back wall. Cut, fold on the lines, then cut the tabs as shown. Finish by gluing the paperboard tray to the lower drawer panel. For the oven cooking rack, take skinny sticks and evenly space out seven sticks. We used the grid lines from our cutting mat. Hold them in place with some low tack tape. Glue seven more skinny sticks on top, this time vertically. Begin with the centre stick and work evenly outward. Put something flat on top to keep them still while they dry. Paint the cooking rack a dark grey. Make sure to paint both sides. To emulate the heat from an oven, we're using a battery pop powered pop light. We coloured the clear top with red and orange markers so the light shining through appears warm. So the light can filter through the thick foam board of the inner shelf, make lots of tiny holes with a toothpick. This is what it will look like. Now we can assemble the stove. Glue the right side wall on top the oven floor. Tip over and cut small slits for the cooking rack at 9.5 centimetres from the base. Insert the rack. Repeat for the left side. Next, glue on the dial plate and position the lower drawer. Switching to the stove top, cut four rectangles of fun foam and glue them on for added dimension. Take a narrow strip of corrugated cardstock and adhere to the centre of the panel. To make the burners, Cut, stack and glue small circles of paperboard. Take thin strips of fun foam and paste them around the centre circle. Place four longer strips on a diagonal and four short strips as shown. When the glue has dried, paint the stovetop silver. We made the temperature dials in the same way as those seen in Joss's Beach Grill video. For this craft, we made two working dials and two false ones. We also cut, stacked and glued six discs for the oven light. Paint them gold. To affix the working dials, push a barbecue skewer through the foam board, then feed the dial leg through the hole. Put drops of glue on the ends to keep it from slipping out during playtime. Cut a rectangle of plastic packaging and glue it to the inside of the oven door for the glass window. Now we can attach the oven door. Push a toothpick through the right side wall and into the oven door piece. Repeat for the left side wall. The door now swings outward so we can access what's inside. Attach the handle with hot glue. We will show how to make these later. For the feet, take mini wooden bobbins and paint silver. Glue evenly to the base and our oven is complete. Step three is the upper cabinets. Here is the cut list of pieces needed. Take the rectangle for the upper cupboard and cut out a small rectangle for a door. To give the door some dimension and detail, we cut panels from paperboard just like those in the Kitchen Island and Bench video. Time to paint all the pieces lavender. Apply thin coats of paint to avoid warping the foam board. The first round will look very patchy, so build the colour with a second, third and even a fourth coat. Here are the pieces.
pieces for the spice rack. Cut curves into both side pieces to achieve the decorative look from the AG version. Glue the short side to the shelf. For the rail, thread a 13cm length of barbecue skewer. Now adhere the long trim piece on top. The short trim piece is needed only for the left side. To replicate the backsplash tile, screenshot an image of AG's kitchen. In Photoshop, crop out just the backsplash. Paste into a Word or similar program and resize or duplicate as needed to get a panel you can print off. Adhere this to the back wall unit as seen. We can also affix the stove. Take your oven backsplash, this needs to be silver, and glue into place. We're almost there. Glue the upper cupboard side walls. They attach to the top of the fridge and back wall. Check that the cupboard door swings in the correct direction before gluing down. Next, take roof piece A and B and glue them on top of the wall unit and cabinetry. There should be some overhang as seen on screen to mimic the corners detail in the AG version. Follow with the spice rack. We found small gold picture hooks at Bunnings Warehouse that were perfect for this craft. Measure and mark the placement for the hooks on the underside of the spice rack shelf. Use drops of liquid or hot glue to adhere them. For door handles, we used wooden chopsticks, skinny sticks and craft be beads on different sizes. Paint them gold and hot glue into place. That's it! Your new kitchen is complete! The dolls now have a modern fridge with ice dispenser and deep drawer freezer. A four burner stove top with working dials and a light up oven for baking. There is a place to hang utensils and pans and lots of cupboard space. Team this with our previous island bench and sink and the dolls have everything needed for a gourmet eating experience. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to Always Dolls for more miniature crafting fun.